Hello everyone. So today I'm going to discuss about one of the most useful and interesting feature of Salesforce, which is called path settings. So I have my Salesforce org open here. If you see the case record, there is a path which shows certain status. That is what is the current status of this particular case. And if you click on this small arrow button, it will show you some additional fields as the drop down. Moreover, if I just change the state, suppose let's make it to working status then this arrow key keyword i mean the arrow key is now disabled because it has no fields to display on this particular state status of the case now if i move it to a skeleton states status then i will see again few of the fields like account name here so this is actually configurable by the user for a, any object for as per your business need now one interesting thing that you will notice as soon as i close this case you will see some sort of celebrations that will happen let me mark this case as closed and here it is some shower of celebration is going there so basically this is entirely configurable and you can use it for other objects apart from case if you want to and you can configure them according to your need so let me show you step by step how you can configure this path setting for the objects you require. Let me go to my another Salesforce org. So here you can see there is no path as of now as such. I will do it from scratch. Let's go to the setup and in the setup in the quick find box search for path settings. So this path is actually very important in order to track and uh, get the good view of your case status or i mean not just case for opportunity as well we see such such kind of path so let's enable this in our org now click on this new path it will ask for some information first of all give the path name let's give it as case path okay then select the object for which object you want to create a path so i will select case here once again and now if there are multiple record types under that object you can select the specific record type for which you want that path to be available okay for now we don't have any record type for this case object so we skip that record type selection next select the pick list field so whatever pick list field are available in that object you will see them as a drop down here to be selected suppose there was a pick list field called uh, type type of case so not all fields are available for creating a path only certain fields which have specific values inside that only that can be selected here as a option for the path okay so i think status is the only eligible field in case object to be selected as the path okay now click on next here you will see all the pick list values which are active for status field of case object you will you will see here these will appear in the path and this will be there as it is now you remember there were certain additional fields used to be visible upon clicking of this arrow button this is where this setup can be done so now i am on the new pick list value of status field you can see there is a button called add or update fields here we can drag the fields that we want to see under that arrow key once the case is in that status so let's select for new when it is in new status i want to see all these fields these three cool now in the working status what all fields you want to see let's select only one of them let's select uh, case number just this one for escalated i don't want to see any fields for closed also let's add one or two case number only okay now click on the next it's just the three step process to configure this now it will ask for activation and whether you want to celebrate once your case status has reached the final final status so it here the second option you see enable celebrations when user reach a specific step in the path help them celebrate their success yeah you can also select upon which status pick list value at what specific value the celebration should happen if i just toggle this it will ask for the pick list value for which you want the celebration to happen so
so obviously we will choose closed in opportunities also we select closed whenever the opportunity is closed or the case is closed at that time only we want to see the celebration and not in in the middle of any other statuses right now the frequency at uh, upon which frequency you want to see those celebrations let's select always every time the case is closed no matter it was reopened and closed back the celebration should should happen cool then finish this is all the setup that we have to do from the setup point of view. Now we have to do one additional step. So you will see the path will still not appear on the case record because there is an additional step still required to be done. What we need to do is just click on this gear icon, go to edit page. So we'll edit the lightning record page of the case object to include the path here. So path is created. We'll just for path here and drag this just beneath the highlighted panel here okay now there are two options like the part to be visible whether it can be non-linear or linear we will select linear itself and you can see the case path that we created is actually referred here we just created this case path case path and you can see here this was the one that we have just configured and that is getting previewed here Cool. Let's save this lightning record page and go back to the record once again. We will see by changing the different status of the case. Now you see this it's in the new status. So if I click on this arrow icon, I should see only those fields that I have selected in my path. That is account name, case number and case owner. Once I reach the working status, see now it is showing the, just the case number. Similarly, in the escalated status, we, we have not chosen any field to be displayed here. So it is not showing anything, any other information. Now, as soon as I close this case, you will see some kind of celebration that will happen. Here it is. So yeah, this is very cool and very interactive kind of UI that Salesforce offers, which makes the user experience more fun and comfortable. Thank you for watching.